This is the Bedini motor that uh, has been made by a good friend of mine. With a little bit of my input, but not much. Just using the SSG, the, the simple schoolgirl circuit. It's literally only been running for about uh, 48 hours, so it's all very early days yet. It's something we're going to look at experimenting with, doing various things with. In this particular build, we've used uh, neodymium magnets in the wheel as opposed to uh, the, ceramic. the ceramic magnets. So I just wanted to show you this unit and what I'll do is I'll start it up in a minute. So you can see here you've got, we've got our coil down the base there, down the bottom there with the uh, windings through the centre. Now we've got two batteries here. We've got one battery um, this battery over here actually is your uh, run battery. You, the, this is the battery that powers the unit. And over here on this side here, this is the battery that's actually uh, being charged by the unit. Now this here is probably upside down, so I'll come around this way. But there's your basic circuit diagram there. It's actually been very, very nicely put together. And now what we have here also is a little speedometer too so we'll have a look at that what i'll do is i'll start the unit up in a minute and what i'll do is i'll put the uh, camera right down by the coil here and you can hear when i flick this switch here you can actually hear the coil kick into action so i'll spin this by hand now so there's no noise there and i'm going to flick the switch you hear that noise Is it? That is gaining speed very slowly. The off right now. Yeah. Now, one of the back, the drive battery is actually down to about 11.9 volts, so it's actually critically low at the moment. But the charge battery, I think we were up to about 12.65. About 12.65. As you can see, that's gaining speed by itself. And as mentioned earlier, this is purely experimental. This is the first one that we've that, that's been built. We've built. You see it's got starting to get faster and faster now. Yeah, 15. Yeah. So this is the unit in action. I'm just getting back a bit so you can see the whole thing in the frame. As I mentioned, very early days. There's a number of experiments we want to do to verify the uh, efficiency of this unit and we're also very keen to see what it will actually do to uh, sulfated batteries as well hopefully desulfate. yeah well, well it will hopefully desulfate the sulfated batteries that's right i know what i meant so this is currently just to give you a quick look Yep, that would be great. So, if you can pop this, that. Is, this is the run battery. Yeah, can you pop that on the run battery for us? Okay. Now, how long has this been running for now? And I'll pull it out. So, we've got currently 11.88 volts thereabouts. That's the run battery. That battery is pretty low, that one. Yeah. So, if we swap over to the. Okay. Charge battery. Now, what did this battery start off at? Uh, this was uh, about 11, sorry, about 11.9. It started off at 11.9 yesterday, I think it was, was it? Yeah. Yesterday, now we're up to 12.6. Yeah. And bearing in mind the coil has only got 336 turns and it should have 900. Okay. So I've run out of magnet wire on the first one, but, oh. um, but yeah, it's, 
it's for a first build it's good mm. but we've learned a lot and we can build it a lot better next time absolutely M more efficient faster charging yep. and uh, yeah interesting we'll have lots of fun experimenting with this one over the time won't we great that that actually works and it does what it's supposed to do you know? absolutely but a lower charge battery is charging a higher battery and it's not supposed to do that on the one to one coil correct so it's obviously charging by the collapsing magnetic field which is around about 400 volts per magnet and there's 16 magnets on the wheel so um, yeah it's uh, and it's running a mechanical device and running a circuit charging the battery to full capacity it'll get it get it up to about 12.85 and that will be fully charged brilliant and uh, the, the claims are that people will charge up to five batteries and then just rotate the batteries and people have had these running for three years now independent of outside electrical input so self-running but they're the claims you want to prove it you want to see exactly it. right Anyway, there you go. Our first Bedini, Energi. Bedini, Bedini SSG Energizer. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching.